tell me how you, you, you got into bug bounties. So I have been really, really fortunate in how I got into bug bounties. Um, so as I mentioned, I have some friends that are involved in bug bounties already. Um, and quite a lot, I, I went to university in the north of England, but quite a lot of people now work and live around London. And I kind of live quite out, far outside of London. Anyway, so a lot of my friends who were interested in bug bounties were like, hey, Katie, there's this hacker one mentee thing going around some of the tech groups in London. Do you want, do you want a link? And I was like, eh, uh, maybe I'll see. Uh, I, I literally, I almost turned it down and it would have been the biggest mistake of my life. So I'm really glad I didn't. Uh, and because I was quite involved with tech groups at university and getting kind of, you know, uh, minorities in tech, because I'm obviously a woman and I want to be, it's very difficult for women to find, I'm going to say inspiration and kind of that idea of, oh, I can do that as well. Right. So um, I was quite involved in women in tech groups at university. People saw, obviously my friends at university saw that, saw this kind of meetup sheet that went around some of the local meetup groups like uh, OWASP. And then they were just like hey you should apply and i thought about it i was like i'm not really that interested in doing bug bounties but then my fiance was like hey katie that would be a really silly opportunity for you to miss so i was like you know what fine and i brought one of my um colleagues along with me i didn't actually know what a live hacking event was or like how exclusive it was uh, at the time i was just like oh it's a it's another meetup in london so i went, we went to london yeah that's with like, that just started a whole thing off I found my first bug in London um, then they were very happy with how I did it I guess and then they invited me to Vegas I found more bugs in Vegas and then I've recently oh. come back from LA and found like 30 bugs so it really was like this big um, like rocket on my career for sure like it just sent me all the way you were mentioning life hacking event and hacker one what's actually a life hacking event so a life hacking event is something that both hacker one and bug crowd do although hacker one i believe is way more famous for them um and it's basically where they fly in for the most part all the best hackers in the world and me apparently no idea why they fly in me um and they get them all in a room with a single target and a target has like the same thing like a regular bug bounty program has assets and what they want to be hacked and what kind of bugs they're looking for but they you know up the amount of bounties you get there's um triages on site you can speak to the customer on site as well and yeah people they just bring everyone together and for eight hours you sit and hack and you can collaborate um with some of the best hackers in the world the people who you know make teams like disturbance is the big team now and yeah it's just this great event where people just spend all day hacking and then uh, all night uh, at the after party drinking. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Fellas, YouTube enabled memberships for my channel so you can now come into my closed circle and into the private live chats. Click the join button to learn more. What was your first bug? Oh wow, okay. So my first bug, actually my first two bugs, I found them both at the same time. Um, London? During London. Yeah, during London, I was sitting there. I, was, I hadn't used Burp before, hadn't done any hacking before. And I just found myself in this situation. I'm like, well, I'm going to give it my best shot. So I ended up looking through Uber and I was playing around with one of their apps. Um, and I just thought, that, that request looks a little bit weird. And I couldn't really, I don't know what told me it looked a little bit weird. But there was something about it. And I was like, I just, if I was making the app, I don't think I would have done, done it that way. So I call over one of the mentors. I'm like, this looks weird to me. How do I approach this? And he said, well, you could, you could try removing the cookies. So I did that and it, and it still worked. And then the, I didn't really understand what that meant, but then my mentor was just smiling with such glee. And I was like, oh my God, I found something, haven't I? And he was like, okay, we need to work out how to weaponize this. So I was like, have I found a bug? <laughs> I didn't even know I'd found one. So we spent this entire time trying to weaponize this bug. And I'm, as I'm testing it, I'm like putting in like minus numbers, really high numbers. And I realized, hang on a second. I can put in really high numbers on Burp, but I can't do it on the app. And I realized you could put in a really high number, but you could also put a negative number and it'd still work. And this was literally, no one was watching me. I was just playing around. And I was like, I think I found another book. <laughs> I did all this. And then I spoke to the person who manages the mentee program. And he doesn't anymore. Um, a wonderful human called Tiff. And I was like, Tiff, I, I found something. And oh my God, I gotta say, like, 
as someone who's British and quite reserved, being around Americans sitting there being like, yeah, you rock, give me a high vibe. It's very motivating. <laughs> and I write the report and like literally the high is incredible. Like when you find your first bug, when you have that high, it's just amazing. So get through the day. A lot of the time you have this gap between the show and tell and when the submissions stop where they can start triaging reports. And um someone from Hacker One comes up to me and says, Katie, I've got some news for you. And I'm like, oh God, please don't tell me, please don't tell me. He's like, I'm awarding you a bounty. And I was like, no, <laughs> wow. no, no, go away. And then he's like, nope, that's it. You've got a thousand dollars. I'm like, what? I wasn't even expecting that much money. Like that's sort of like half my monthly salary as a PhD student in one day after like eight hours of work. I was just like, whoa, whoa. Fellas, check out my Python Basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description.